What's good, y'all? So this Master P Romeo situation, I want to give a different perspective on it, right? There's a lot of things that's not being said out there that I want to kind of shed light to. So you guys may or may not know what's going on between Romeo and Master P. If you guys already know what's going on between Master P and Romeo, I'm going to put timestamps in the description box so you guys can fast forward to the part that I'm going to give you my explanation of what's going on in this situation. So I'm going to give you guys some background on what's going on between Romeo and Master P. In this video, I'm going to put the post that Master P put up that kind of triggered Romeo to go off on him. Then I'm going to put what Romeo put up on his Instagram. Then I'm going to put the video that Master P put up afterwards. Then I'm going to give you my perspective on it. Just to give you guys a background so you guys will not be lost for those who don't know what's going on between Romeo and Master P. First, let's start with the Instagram post that Master P posted about DJ Twitch. Let's get into it. All right, so Master P put a post up about DJ Twitch and he put this, rest in peace to the one and only dancing hashtag DJ Twitch and salute to at Snoop Dogg for celebrating him. These are crazy times we are living in. You could be smiling one day and going the next he was supposed to be a guest DJ on the concert we're having, having January 13th. Life is too short. Appreciate your loved ones. Hashtag mental illness is real. Shout out to the Post Malone and at Dre London coming together with me on this cause. Hashtag God is good. So that's the post that Master P put up, right? He put that post up and that post triggered Romeo because you guys may or may not know Master P's daughter and Romeo's sister recently died. And that's why I want to get more into the nuance and the context of this conversation. So now I'm going to put what Romeo posted on his Instagram. Let's get into that. So Romeo first put on his story. Today was a boiling point. Seeing a man avoid his own children's struggle with suicide and depression, but post another man whom passed today that he doesn't even know. Y'all idols be laws. Better stop following the blind. Watch when it's revealed. And it, and this is a thing. This is a thing that people will deal with. Whereas you can have somebody post somebody else's death, but not deal with things within their own family or not deal with things within their own family that other families see fit. You know what I mean? Because how many times we see it all the time? Somebody pass away, they'd be like, oh, damn whole bunch of tweets for a celebrity but their own family member pass away or their own family members going through things you don't see it as much you know what i mean just let's be real but i think romeo is going through that this was an instagram post that kind of took it over the top because you know not everybody see the story but a lot of people did see this right here all right so this is coming from romeo miller's instagram page this is my last straw pops stop trying to play the victim i love you so much that i follow you blindly for 30 plus years you know what we talked about behind closed doors. You aren't the man you paint to be, and it's why it is war because I refuse to follow your lead. You only want to protect your image, but the image isn't even real. And I don't need anyone to feel sorry for me, Pops. I am truly a man of God. If you're really a man of God, then you will prevail in the end. Even when I share my truth, I tried to keep things in house. You are addicted to social media and unfortunately uses apps as therapy. 3,000 plus posts. Look, and when the world finds out about the finances outside of a gift or a car, I have never been paid for anything I've accomplished as Little Romeo. Uncle C and Silk, no. You only pay outsiders rightfully so they'll speak good on your name. I'm at peace because I can speak my truth and help others. Mom was always right. Your pride is everything. It boiled up. It definitely boiled up, and now it's being portrayed on social media because Romeo felt like this is the only way I could speak to my pops is through social media. And it, there's a lot of people out there that's like this. You can only speak to them through social media. It's a lot of people out there that's like that. You know what I'm saying? So now I want to play Master P's response to Romeo. This is coming courtesy of um, Hood Zone Productions, Hood Zone Productions on YouTube. So shout them out for having this video. Today is a sad day because I got to get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't want to do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo, 
like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in, and you're a 30 something year old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people, but you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about, the only reason I entertain this on social media, I thought that was about the DJ Twitch uh, post I put up. And I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought you was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know debt, it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just say, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world not to get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences and then when they grow older they oh you never gave me nothing at 30 something man people will go back and look you've been shining for a long time son all you got to do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me the saddest thing about this this is what the people want to see they want to see destruction so if you destroy me what are you going to do for the rest of the family are you going to take care you told me <laughs> on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from that. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. I'm tired of that, y'all, and any other parents. You could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kid $10, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff, poking and having fun. Y'all can but I'm about to go back to work and do what I got to do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm apologizing to you if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. I come from nothing. Everybody go through trauma. I'm dealing with this right now, but I love going out into the community and helping people. That's the way I heal. Allow me to heal. I don't have to be sitting around moaning and crying. and all. I, I can't get my daughter back. But I can get out there and keep a legacy going, keep a name going. So let's do this in love and let's do this in peace. Because this is what the system wants. Think about it. We stronger together. But you older now. So you got to lead by example for the rest of the kids. And we're going to get through this. I'm just telling y'all, keep, keep y'all prayers. We need it. And, and, and God going to do what he got to do. You know, I'm not going to come on here no more. So bloggers and everything else is cool. Whatever you want to deal with, deal with Romeo. Whatever y'all think he's saying is true or whatever, that's cool too. I can live with it. I'm at peace now. I had to speak my peace. I'm not here to talk about their finances. I'm not here to talk about none of that stuff. One thing that people are not mentioning and not realizing is that the sister died right before Thanksgiving. This is, this is holiday times. You feel me? Christmas is coming right up. And I'm not here to speculate on how she died. I don't know. I know she passed away. I remember I was doing a live stream and it came up during my live stream that it was discussed. But her sister passed away before Thanksgiving. So now we got Thanksgiving, you're missing a family member. Now you got Christmas, you're missing a family member. That's a toll on people. And for Master P to post something about DJ Twitch, Romeo felt a way about that. And he had all right to feel a way about that. And for Romeo to now see his father in a different light, it is natural. It's natural. They gotta they gotta heal a certain way. The deal with death is is really is very triggering for these people. You see what I'm saying? Like this is the first holiday season going through a death, and they doing this in real time in front of the world. And you have somebody like Master P that's who loves social media. We have a lot of people out here who love social media, who who post things just to keep the content going. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I, I see myself as a content creator. I try not to post everything about my personal life on my social media. I post my son because my son is in ent entertainment. You feel me? But I barely post my girl. I barely post her daughter. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm in their lives every day, I don't post them every day. I don't post. I don't post my personal stuff. 
I just post what I want to post. But some people are addicted. You understand? Some people are addicted. They got to show everything they eat, everywhere they go. They got to show everything. And Romeo felt like this is the only way I could get to my dad. This is how I feel. I'm going through something. This is my first Christmas without my sister. His dad have to feel like I have to reach out to other people because this is my first Christmas without my daughter. The holidays are triggering for some people. I went through this as a kid. You know what I'm saying? When my dad died when I was 12, it was right before Thanksgiving, right before Christmas. The hardest holiday, the hardest holidays of all time for me. You know what I'm saying? That first time going through that, that was hard. It's now this is their first time going through it. So it's sad to see these two going through this in the public light. But I just felt like, you know, we got to keep people like this in our prayers. If you really rock with them like that, if you really like a fan of Master P and what he's doing as an entrepreneur, you're a fan of Romeo, what he's doing as an athlete, as an as a, um, entertainer, as an actor. You know what I'm saying? If you're a fan of those things, keep those people in your thoughts and your prayers. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to give you guys a different spin and a different aspect on this Romeo Master P thing. You feel me? But let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments, man. I appreciate your time. All right, man. Till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One.